it's 52 past two. Now, the other night I was talking about OBS um, automatically changing size, not OBS, the Skype for Creators NDI plugin within OBS automatically changing sides, uh, sides, sizes, <laughs> changing sides. And um, there is a remedy to why this happens. We had a chat with my Skype guy, the guy that I was telling you that was sort of promoting this to myself and Danny Black um, from Skype, a guy called Aaron Lin, or Line, Aaron Line. Uh, he says, I've asked him, I said, um, da, 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 where did I say it? I said, hey, all went well, Aaron. I had a funky issue with OBS at around the 520 mark. This is in relations to the stream as well that I showed you guys. And um, not sure if this is an NDI related, but it may help. He said, hey, man, that's an issue with how you set things up in OBS. Da, 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 da. Um, so follow these instructions and basically on this page here that he sent, I'll oh, turn that light off, on this page here that he sent me to, it says here, how do I stop the NDI feeds from changing sizes in OBS? The Skype NDI automatically changes resolution based upon the network and bandwidth available. To keep a consistent size in OBS, right click the NDI source, select transform, select edit transform, change the bounding box type to scale inner bounds. That guy did work and I have done that and I can actually report that that does fix the issue. Now, that is a workaround, but here's a little bit of feedback for um, Skype for content creators, particularly Aaron. I know he's working on this project. How about instead of having to do that, it's defaulted to that because more often than not, people have sketchy bandwidth. Not a lot of people, well, people do have good bandwidth. We don't, I don't. But I'd suggest that there's more people like me than there are people that have everything perfect. So maybe that should be a default setting that it's, but it's not in NDI, it's not in Skype, is it? It's in OBS. I see what's going on. It's, you have to work together with it to, well, the other thing that is um, to enable Skype, content creators mode, select the more menu and select settings. Um, da, 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 da. I've enabled Skype content creators mode. Why does it keep turning off? Skype have said there are a couple of reasons why Skype for content creators mode may turn off after you've enabled it. If you restart Skype, when you restart Skype, we intentionally turn Skype for content creators mode off. Now I know why that is as well. That's a privacy thing because Basically, it's allowing you to record a call and you have to acknowledge that this is happening each time. It's just a small step, but it would be f more user intuitive if it was enabled. If you could check a checkbox saying, I understand that if I check this, it means that I'm agreeing to, yes, I'm, I'm acknowledging that I'm recording these calls each time. Therefore, you wouldn't have to keep going in and out because realistically that's all i use skype for and a lot of people are just using skype for this kind of thing i mean it's a great step don't get me wrong skype for content creators is a great step and it's working great even though i've had a small hiccup with it but it is working really well i just think there could be a couple of small changes to just enable this to be a little bit more maybe um maybe obs needs to work a little closer with skype to fix this that could be the other issue it's uh it's probably a tie